Like many kids, I grew up with Nintendo. Me and these guys go way back. Baby Fofi poured so many hours into Mario, Zelda, and Pokemon back in the day. Or, well, more specifically, I poured a ton of hours into the first levels of these games over and over again. Yeah, I wasn't a particularly hardcore gamer. I used to reset my favorite games every time they got too difficult for me. So instead of going on an epic pirate adventure in Zelda Wind Waker, I instead played the Groundhog Day Adventures of birthday boy and his screaming sister. And instead of getting a bunch of stars to save Princess Peach and Mario Sunshine, I just spent a summer on a beach with an entire island of people who suspect I'm destroying their ecosystem. So hearing that, you probably think my ideal game was something a bit more low stakes with no one to fight or save. A game where you can just chill on an island or something and live out a peaceful life. Well, luckily, around that same time, a new game was coming out for my favorite purple box, Animal Crossing. For those of you who don't know, Animal Crossing is a video game series from Nintendo in a genre called life simulation. In these games, you play as a villager in a small town who does not a whole lot, really. You kind of just build up a life in your town. Buy a house, go fishing, talk to neighbors, do chores, get put in crippling debt, all the fun things you expect from a video game. The original was made for the Nintendo 64, but here in the States, it was a GameCube game, then a DS game, then a Wii game, and then a 3DS game. And from what I understand, there's not a ton of massive differences between them all. They're all life sims full of cute animal people and busy work, and people were really into them. And if you're thinking that this game sounded perfect for Baby Fofi, who was was restarting Pokemon Ruby for the hundredth time, you'd be wrong! Animal Crossing never even <laughs> crossed my path as a kid. I mean, I knew what it was, but I never had it, and if I had played it, Baby Fofi probably would have just been confused and bored because I was impossible to please. But a few years ago, I started seeing these posts on Twitter anytime Nintendo would announce new games. People saying, no Animal Crossing, not interested, please new Animal Crossing, and Animal Crossing now! Wow. Okay. People are really into Animal Crossing. I didn't realize, like, really into it. And at that time, the series was in an intense dry spell. After the 3DS version New Leaf came out in 2012, all we got for the next eight years was HGTV, the worst one, and an app. But last year, Nintendo finally announced a new mainline Animal Crossing game for the Switch. Fast forward to today, and Animal Crossing New Horizons is here, and... Lord, is this all people talk about on Twitter right now? So why keep avoiding the hype? Let's give it a shot. These are my first experiences with Animal Crossing. Or maybe I should say my first real experiences with Animal Crossing, because technically I did pick up New Leaf back in the day, but I got nowhere. I had no idea what I was doing and just wasn't really giving it the kind of attention it needed, but I got the basics from it. So before starting New Horizons, I decided to pop back into my New Leaf town as a refresher. And this, this did not help. I grabbed my 3DS. Oh, that is, that is some dust. Booted up the game and was immediately thrown off my groove. Apparently some big update came to the game when I wasn't looking and now Isabel is just all out attacking me with text about all this new stuff that I definitely care about and paid attention to. Also, Christmas? I didn't know Christmas trees and snow were this common in April. I checked out my old house and apparently all I had was a computer desk, a piano, terrible carpeting, and a loot. I stepped back outside and Okay, fireworks are going off tonight, even though I'm playing in the day. I should really reset my 3DS clock. I look up to the sky to watch the fireworks. There's a big flash and the fireworks spell out 2012. I feel like I just have more questions now than when I started. So let's just dive into New Horizons and see what happens. But before we get to that, if you're enjoying this video, please be sure to head down and hit the red subscribe button and ring the little bell next to it. I'd really appreciate the support. The game begins and I'm plonked on a deserted island with a music loving horse and a bodybuilder rhino. Some tanuki guy named Tom Nook shows up and is like, hey, welcome to my island. I brought you all here so we can build a new society from scratch. Please don't read too much into that. What should we call our new totally not sketchy home. And I knew I wanted to put a lot of real thought and effort into the name of my Animal Crossing Island. So after much deliberation, I decided to call my island an island. And everyone seems to be on board with that. So we all start our new life on an island, each getting a tent to chill in. But then Tom Nook's like, all right, cool. That'll be $50,000. Oh, what? You didn't think this was gonna be free, did you? Nah, you owe me a lot of money, now get to work! And thus begins my journey to build up a desert island resort completely by myself, 
even though I was just supposed to be a guest. Starting to think this was a bad idea. Digging, fishing, running, crafting, breaking, spinning, making my merchant game. Link in the description, we have hoodies now. Crafting again. I'm slowly but surely figuring out the basics of this game. I didn't have a ton of time to really play it for a few days because I was finishing up my last video. So by the time I got back into it, Buff Rhino and Horse Girl already had freaking houses while I was still stuck in my tent. And I will not be outdone by someone who unironically says Kerpow. So I built up enough experience points to pay off my tent just to upgrade to a house that puts me nearly a hundred thousand dollars in debt. I sure do love the escapism of video games. For a change of pace, I decided to visit a friend's island, quickly realizing just how far behind I was. This person had a house just full of stuff. Multiple rooms, a toilet, they're living the high life. There was a freaking carnival in their town. Dude, I just got out of my tent. Did I really miss this much just by skipping a couple days? I started feeling a little jealous, so I stole some of her valuable fossils and covered her whole town in holes. I'm sure she won't mind. Well, now that I'm adequately self-conscious, I fly back to an island and hit the ground running. I've got the museum off the ground. Come on down and see our nothing. I'm saving up money to pay for my house and wait. Why are there eggs everywhere? Ah! Bunny time! Okay, there's this bunny guy sneaking around an island now, and he's like, Collect all the eggs to get cool stuff! Oh god, I'm so sad, bye! So now, not only am I behind and don't know what the heck I'm doing, now I can't even fish because all the fish are eggs! I don't even know how that works! I swear to god, I've got like a hundred of these eggs except for the one that floats through the stupid sky because I don't know how to get the slingshot yet. No one on the entire island has even mentioned it, so I don't know what the heck to do, and now I got a house full of eggs! Ugh. All right, so I go visit Tom Nook one day and one of the tiny Tom Nooks is just like, let's build a store, but I'm like eight, so you do all the work. Uh, of course. Apparently, I have to get a crap ton of wood and 30 freaking iron nuggets. So I level every single tree on the island. All nature must die in the name of capitalism. But apparently, if you eat any of the fruit you gather, you become the freaking Hulk. So I'm running around my island, fully decked out on cherries, trying to get iron nuggets out of the four rocks on the entire island, and I accidentally break all of them in like a minute. Well, crap. Now what? Nook's like, hey, do you know you can fly to other islands to get more stuff? Uh, no, I didn't, but okay. So I spend some of my experience points to get a ticket to fly to another island. Once there, the deep voiced dodo bird that flew me there is like, I right, run around, have fun, but don't leave anything here you ain't prepared to lose, cause we are never coming back, ever. I burn the flight plans after we're done and everything. Why? No questions! No, go have fun and don't tell anyone your real name. I come home with two more iron nuggets, a palm tree, some coconuts, and reassurance that this entire thing was definitely a bad idea. I met a ghost that gave me some flooring for my house. This game's weird. Next day, I decided to go around and deweed my island today. You know, for the first time, after like a week of playing. Yeah, I kind of forgot that was a thing you had to do. So now I have a ton of eggs and 900 clumps of weeds in my house, but at least my island's clean. Also, I finally managed to get the rest of the iron nuggets I needed, completely on my own, and got the store built. But while scavenging for iron, I also, uh, stumbled upon a guitar, amp, and some pedals. Check it out, I actually have that one in real life. But I also find some fossils that would be great for the museum but instead I sell them all to the nooks so I can pay off my house, crawl out of debt, request an expansion, and immediately fall into even more debt. This game is a never ending cycle of torment. But hey, now I've got a store in town and a bigger house to put all the stuff I'm gonna buy with all my no money. So now what? I gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little impatient with this game. And yeah, that's probably just cause I'm doing a video on it and only so much can happen in a day. So, whoa, what? It's tomorrow already? Pfft, how'd that happen? Tom Nook's like, all right, big day today. We got our first three new Islanders coming here soon. Do me a favor and build and set up a bridge for me, would ya? I also may have promised these guys fully furnished homes instead of just tents, so I'm gonna need you to do all that for me. Well, I've pretty much accepted the fact that I got totally duped into doing this guy's dirty work for the rest of my life, so I get to work. I have to craft a bridge, set it up to be built, place three housing plots, and then craft six unique objects to furnish each respective house. That's nearly 20 things I gotta craft, and 
I'm running low on supplies, so I'm running around my island chopping at every single tree to get more wood, again, kinda trying to rush it a little. And I guess the game decided to put my impatient butt in its place because it just pummeled me with wasps. I kept trying to run away from them, but I got caught every single time. So I'm running around the island, TM, covered in welts, woozy from passing out three times in five minutes, still chopping away at trees and building beds for people while everyone else just stands there and finally, after several hours, I'm finished. And for all that hard work, Tom Nook gave me a fence. Boy, I sure do love my calm and relaxing life in Animal Crossing. And with that, I think our time on an island has come to an end for now. I joked around and got a little impatient by the end, yeah, but ultimately, I've really enjoyed my time in Animal Crossing. And I really can't wait to keep growing my island and checking in every, what? was that? I'll teach you to put holes all over my island, you! Oh god, no, stay away! I thought it was just a joke! <laughs>